Well, hello! Oh, it's already afternoon. So I have science in a pot. I had a half gallon of milk, which was a couple of days outside of its sell-by date. Not the freshest to drink straight or have in cereal. So I decided to make cheese. Um, I brought it to a scold, which doesn't actually boil, just bubbles start to form around the outside. And then I added two tablespoons of vinegar which creates curds. I'm going to drain it, strain it, and uh, let it form into curds which I can then flavor up with salt or something spicy or something funky. So I haven't quite decided what I'm going to do yet, but let me show you what it looks like all strained. I know it doesn't look like much, but this is what just about half a, a little less than half a gallon makes. So all the rest of this is going to strain out and then I could squeeze out all the extras and I can make flavored cottage cheese. It's also actually this is in this state it's called farmer's cheese so uh, most people add a little salt but since we're on a lower sodium um, diet we're I'm not going to add salt I might add uh, some cracked black pepper and maybe some herbs from the garden I'll see what Polly would like because he loves cottage cheese and this is exactly what it would be so I'm just gonna let it strain. I'll check in on it in a little while. Let me show you what's underneath. See all that whey? And I think there's uses for the whey as well. I know that you can add it to animal feed. Um, like, I'm not sure whether our chickens would enjoy it, but I know piggies would, And but we don't have piggies. So yeah, homemade cottage cheese or farmer's cheese. And I already tasted it. It's sweet and really fresh. The milk was not bad. It's just it wasn't as fresh as we would like for it to uh, consume it right out of the container. So just have some uh, double layer paper towel, nothing fancy. I have cheesecloth, but to be honest, this is just easier and simpler because you toss and throw out. So I might swap out the paper towel in a little bit once majority of the water is gone. Uh, most of it's strained out into the sink um, and then just a little bit was left. And it slowly but surely it will go down but then I will put some fresh paper towels down because otherwise it's just seeping this water this you know leaching this fluid so yeah now I'm gonna go research what you could do with whey during the cheese process easy peasy well there it is homemade cheese and it took 19 minutes including the straining I'm gonna let it sit just a little longer and then I'll pop it in the fridge we're at the farmer's market. I don't know what this tree is, but look at berries. Oh, they had the zucchini races today. So we're just leaving the farmer's market. We got some a package of a pack of dill, a bunch of dill from the Asian produce girls. Oh my God, they're so cute. Yeah. And um, They said they had Asian cucumbers, which are overgrown cucumbers. Yeah, I'd have to agree. I think they just look like overgrown cucumbers. <laughs> but they had bitter melon, which I know better than to buy because it's very, very bitter and you have to know specifically how to treat it. And I do not. But, but <laughs> if they had bitter honey, we'd be definitely buying it. Oh, really? So there's the farmer's market. Bye bye farmers market. Lots of dogs today. Oof. And oh, I need to free up some space in my camera. So we got um, uh, Chinese cabbage, uh, Napa cabbage. Uh, yeah. Well, Napa. I bought Napa cabbage at the other place to make coleslaw. You've been craving coleslaw, and Napa. Um, Napa cabbage is uh, less I, harsh on your tummy. I don't want it creamy. I wanted uh, uh, vinaigrette. Vinaigrette. Yeah, oil vinegar, poppy seeds maybe. Uh, maybe some. Um, in oh, it. you have dog hair on your face. Put that. Uh, what's that stuff called? Like mold vinegar. Mold vinegar. Yeah, and because mm, it's multi. Uh, we also got a giant uh, cantaloupe. <laughs> this smells so good. Like you could already smell it. And a tomato the size of pretty much Chester's head. Yeah, but they gave it to us because it had little 50 rotten. cents. That's okay. We could cut that out. All right. I got to free up some space on my camera. Okay. I freed up some space. Oh, look at gorgeous clouds. Look past the poop, <laughs> which I have to scrape off at this point. Um, there's a tech sale we're going to stop at, I guess. You want to drive around the building so you can pull up on the side of that one? 
Into the We're listening to Wait, Wait, wait Don't Tell Me. Category. Oh, gorgeous clouds today. Now. Even like the gray Inside ones are fabulous. Like, painted on. <laughs> we're talking about uh, kitty litter switches, the <laughs> nuclear <laughs> meltdown that they were using. The wrong kitty litter. They switched to green kitty litter from, from clay so and it didn't do the same job. New Yorker Jonas. So this is the giant tomato we picked up for 50 cents. Isn't that gorgeous? It's perfect to eat right now. Beautiful sprig, um, bunch of um, dill. We should have some tomatoes. The <laughs> a giant daikon. Uh, not daikon. Um, savoy, savoy cabbage. Some corn, because that's what it means to live in the country. And this beautiful melon, which I could tell you smells so aromatic. And then yesterday, Polly came home with this purple pepper. Black. Well, it's, I got it. it looks black, but it's really a deep purple. And then this cute little eggplant and another giant ugly tomato, which is delicious. So I'm thinking of making a salad and putting some corn up because we're enjoying the corn now. You might get a little gluttonous, but I bet you it'll be delicious when we have it in the middle of winter or when the corn's no longer nice and fresh. So, oh, yummy. I might make a, I'm definitely gonna make coleslaw. I have scallions and carrots and what else do I wanna put in? Uh, is there an excuse me? Excuse me please. Little fart head. So, beautiful tomato, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, we just watched a totally silly <laughs> movie. Um, we're Meet the Millers and um, we had pizza for our dinner and the leftovers are being put to get put away in this little smart box. So the um, our local pizza place, um, uh, Da Vinci Pizza, uses. Chester came downstairs to get some water. So the lid rips off, and it, ma it makes four um, little plates, and then the bottom folds. I think there's instructions right here. Fold, see the the tear off the top box top folds in uh, tears into four plates, and the bottom the you pull away the triangle sides, and it folds into a storage container. How cute is that? Very smart. I saw this uh, posted by someone. I don't know if it was on one of those news articles, you know, online articles. But I was so excited to see that our local pizza place was doing that now. So how cool is that? So this leftovers go right in the fridge. Easy peasy. You don't have to try to shove a giant box, pizza box, into your refrigerator if you don't have a, you know, sub-zero. We don't. We just have a regular one. So I think that's going to be it first for today. Um, I will see you all tomorrow. Don't forget to thumbs up. Thumbs up for the smart box. Look at that. Cool. Smart box. Yeah, you can scan that. Check it out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you all tomorrow.